Hi, I'm Anna Prasa Robinson here on the front line at E3 2013 with GameSpot. Obviously we all know that E3 is for gamers, but is it for the competitive gamer, the person who's involved in esports? I set out to find out what companies are interested in esports, what they're doing about it, or whether this is really more a place for a recreational gamer. I'm walking around the convention center just looking for anything that looks like it might be competitive gameplay or esports related. There's really not much that I can see. Hi, I'm standing here with Caleb Fox, the head of esports for Wargaming America. Caleb, I've had the pleasure of working with you before on World of Tanks, which I know there's a huge emphasis on esports for you guys now. Tell me a little bit about it. So we kind of kicked off at WCG 2012 in Kunshan, China. That was kind of our first big global debut, so to speak, into esports. And since then, we've just skyrocketed everywhere. E3 is, you know, generally focused toward the recreational gamer, but how much of a demand do you see for esports in your audiences? Uh, there's a there's a pretty high demand. They're kind of always they're always chanting for more, no matter what we give them. You know, it's never enough. We have a massive competitive uh, player base, about 80,000 players worldwide that, that compete pretty regularly. Uh, so they're always asking for more, more. So we're trying to give it to them. You know, we now have weekly shows. Pretty much any time of the day, you can go on and watch World of Tanks being played. And so we're striving to make that better and better and more accessible to the audience. With Marcus Graham, aka DJ Wheat, who I would I would call a figurehead of esports, and he's sure. <laughs> sure. he's here at the Twitch booth. Marcus, tell me, you know, here at E3, although Twitch I know has a a huge connection with esports, how much is there a connection with esports here at E3 at this conference? I mean, you know, with Twitch specifically, it's more like obviously the awareness, right? We're always trying to spread the awareness of esports through Twitch, you know, whether that be through the apps or some of the announcements. Um, but at the show, it's always interesting to see, you know, companies that are putting a esports focus on things. TSM, Snapdragon, just finished their interview on the live stream. Well, a lot of people are doubtful that esports could become something just like real sports, but if you look back at, you know, baseball, go back an, a long enough time, people thought the same thing about baseball. So do you see esports growing at a level that soon we'll see it on the level of professional sports? Um, if you look at back then um, for Worlds, the viewership of Worlds was actually higher than some baseball numbers for just watching on TV. And it could potentially like grow and grow bigger and bigger, and it's looking good so far. Definitely. Well, you guys are certainly celebrities. You've recently been on a show. A lot of people are gathered just to watch and hear what you have to say. Does it feel good to be a gaming celebrity? Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, not many people get to have a chance to do this, so um, I'm really happy to have it. So I try to make the most of it. But yeah, it feels pretty awesome. Um, fans come up to meet us all the time. Uh, it's always fun to interact with them because, yeah, it's really, really awesome uh, to be really good at the game and people just like you for it for some reason. So I think it's amazing. Coming from a StarCraft background myself, I thought I might find some more esports at E3 at the Activision Blizzard booth. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem they've brought many of their esports titles, or the ones they did, they don't have anyone that could chat with me about it. What do you think? Is E3 the place for esports? Let us know by tweeting with the hashtag GameSpotE3.